Hey there, science fans. Today we're diving into the world of Flora polymers, an amazing group of plastics with superpowers. Flora polymers are a class of high-performance synthetic polymers characterized by carbon-fluorine bonds, which confer exceptional chemical stability and unique physical properties. These materials are either homopolymers or copolymers, derived from fluorinated monomers such as tetrafluoroethylene. Due to their molecular structure, fluoropolymers possess a distinct set of properties that make them valuable for various industrial and commercial applications. These include exceptional inertness to acids, bases, solvents and other reactive substances, high melting points and operational stability over a wide temperature range, a non-stick surface that reduces friction and prevents fouling, superior dielectric properties making them ideal for use in electrical and electronic industries water repellent nature contributing to corrosion resistance and ease of cleaning excellent resistance to photodegradation enhancing their longevity in outdoor environments these attributes make fluoropolymers indispensable in sectors such as aerospace automotive chemical processing electronics and healthcare among fluoropolymers polytetrafluoroethylene ptfe stands out as the most widely used due to its unparalleled combination of properties particularly its chemical inertness, high thermal resistance, and ultra-low surface energy. Its ubiquity in various industries underscores its pivotal role as a cornerstone of fluoropolymer technology. Let's take a closer look at what makes PTFE so special. PTFE is a synthetic fluoropolymer. It is composed of a long chain of carbon atoms, each bonded to two fluorine atoms, forming a highly stable backbone of repeating tetrafluoroethylene units. The carbon-fluorine bonds in PTFE are among the strongest in organic chemistry, giving the polymer its exceptional chemical inertness and thermal stability. The tightly packed fluorine atoms also create a protective shield around the carbon backbone, enhancing the material's resistance to degradation and reducing intermolecular forces, which contributes to its low friction and non-stick characteristics. PTFE was discovered serendipitously in 1938 by Roy J. Plunkett, a chemist working for DuPont. While experimenting with tetrafluoroethylene gas for refrigerant applications, Plunkett found that the gas had polymerized spontaneously under high pressure into a white, waxy solid. This accidental discovery led to the development of PTFE as a commercially valuable material. DuPont trademarked PTFE as Teflon in 1945, and its unique properties quickly found applications in military and industrial contexts. During World War II, PTFE was critical in the Manhattan Project for lining pipes and gaskets used in uranium enrichment. Post-war, PTFE's uses expanded to non-stick cookware, electrical insulation and chemical processing equipment, cementing its role as one of the most important fluoropolymers in modern material science. PTFE is renowned for a combination of properties that make it distinct from other polymers. With a melting point of approximately 327 degrees Celsius and stability at temperatures ranging from minus 200 degrees Celsius to 260 degrees Celsius, PTFE can perform in extreme conditions without degradation. Resistant to nearly all chemicals, including strong acids and bases, PTFE does not corrode or degrade in harsh environments. The extremely low coefficient of friction makes PTFE ideal for applications requiring smooth surfaces, such as non-stick cookware or low-wear mechanical parts. PTFE repels water, oil and other substances, which contributes to its self-cleaning and anti-fouling properties. PTFE's low dielectric constant and high dielectric strength make it suitable for advanced electrical and electronic components. It is unaffected by ultraviolet radiation and outdoor exposure, ensuring long service life in external applications. The combination of these properties has made PTFE an indispensable material across diverse industries, including aerospace, electronics, healthcare and consumer goods. Next, let's talk about the PTFE manufacturing process. The primary raw material for PTFE is tetrafluoroethylene, also known as TFE, a gaseous monomer synthesized from fluor spar, hydrofluoric acid and chloroform. 
The process begins with the production of chlorodifluoromethane through the reaction of chloroform and hydrofluoric acid. Chlorodifluoromethane is then subjected to pyrolysis to produce TFE, which is highly reactive and must be handled with care due to its explosive nature. Other critical materials include water, surfactants and initiators used during the polymerization process. PTFE is synthesized through the polymerization of TFE in an aqueous medium. Two primary methods are used, suspension polymerization and emulsion polymerization. Suspension polymerization produces coarse, granular PTFE resin, which is suitable for compression molding and extrusion applications. TFE is polymerized in an aqueous medium without the use of surfactants. A water-soluble initiator, such as potassium persulfate, triggers the polymerization. The reaction occurs under controlled pressure and temperature, resulting in the formation of granular PTFE particles. Emulsion polymerization is preferred for applications requiring uniform particle distribution. TFE is polymerized in water in the presence of surfactants, such as perfluorooctanoic acid or its alternatives to stabilize the reaction. This process involves a water-soluble initiator and yields much smaller particle sizes, forming a milky dispersion. The product can be coagulated into fine powders or retained as a dispersion used for coatings or films. After polymerization, PTFE is processed into various forms to meet application-specific requirements. The common forms include granular PTFE, fine powder PTFE and dispersed PTFE. By tailoring the polymerization method and processing approach, manufacturers can produce PTFE in forms optimized for a wide range of industrial and commercial uses. PTFE has been widely used in many fields due to its excellent performance. PTFE's unparalleled chemical resistance and thermal stability make it an indispensable material in industrial environments. Common applications include linings for tanks, pipes and gaskets for handling corrosive chemicals, non-reactive seals and low friction bearings in machinery, filters for harsh chemical or high temperature conditions, coatings for moulds and heat exchangers to prevent scaling and enhance durability. PTFE is highly valued in the electrical and electronics industry due to its excellent dielectric properties. PTFE is suitable for high voltage and high frequency applications, especially in aerospace and telecommunications. PTFE is used in high frequency PCBs due to its low dielectric constant and thermal resistance. In RF and microwave systems, PTFE ensures consistent performance under a variety of conditions. PTFE's non-stick, durable and heat-resistant properties are widely used in consumer products such as non-stick coatings for pans and bakeware, waterproofing for outdoor clothing and tents, and additives in automotive and household lubricants. PTFE's biocompatibility and non-reactivity make it ideal for medical applications. PTFE can be used in surgical implants, catheter coatings, prosthetic components and medical catheters. PTFE performs well under extreme conditions, which makes it essential in the following high-performance industries. In the aerospace industry, PTFE is used in fuel system components, seals and wire insulation for aircraft and spacecraft. In the automotive industry, PTFE is used in non-stick coatings for fuel hoses, gaskets and engine parts to extend service life and improve performance. PTFE is a representative material among fluoropolymers. Its unique properties make it widely used in industrial, chemical and medical fields. However, compared with other fluoropolymers, PTFE also has significant differences in performance and application scope. The following is a detailed comparison of PTFE with other common fluoropolymers. PTFE has an irreplaceable position among fluoropolymers due to its unique chemical stability and thermal properties, but other fluoropolymers such as PVDF, PFA, ETFE have shown stronger adaptability in different application fields by balancing processability, mechanical properties and cost. Users can choose suitable fluoropolymers according to specific needs to achieve an optimized balance between performance and cost. Fluoropolymer manufacturing, including PTFE, involves processes that generate greenhouse gases and use toxic chemicals like PFOA. Modern approaches focus on safer alternatives for surfactants and minimizing emissions. 
Recycling PTFE remains challenging due to its stability. However, efforts are underway to develop methods for mechanical recycling and reprocessing into powders for industrial use. Alternative materials are explored where PTFE's performance is not critical. Regulations such as restrictions on PFOA and PFAS compounds have driven changes in manufacturing practices. Compliance with global environmental standards such as REACH and EPA guidelines is now essential for fluoropolymer producers.